Mantis shrimp are separated into two groups, and each group has an impressive weapons arsenal at their disposal. The so-called smashers, with their club appendages, used to bludgeon their prey, and the spears, with spiny appendages and dangerous barbed tips. I've traveled to Thailand, to the Andaman Sea, to find out more about a curious little champion fighter, the mantis shrimp. Having aroused the interest of the scientific community and the military alike, I want to see for myself how powerful their famed sensory organs and weaponry really is. To help me with my search, I have come to see my trusted friend and the man who taught me how to dive, Klaus Orlik. Klaus and his crew know these waters like no other. And so we set off on our journey towards the Similan Islands in southern Thailand. This small chain of islands is strictly protected and has been a marine park since 1982. Once there, I can't wait to get in the water and explore. It's been a while since I've been diving with my favorite dive partner and it feels really good to be here. Klaus knows a bunch of mantis shrimp burrows and takes me right there. This little smasher has probably already long spotted us before we were even close. With 10,000 lenses per eye, it is really not that difficult. Stunned, we are given a taste of this little crustacean's weaponry right away. No idea what happened here, but it is obvious that the outcome was not in favor for one of them. Males can get very territorial. We don't have to swim far to find another one. There are more than 400 species of mantis shrimp in the world, ranging in size anywhere from 2 to 18 inches. Fighting for home ownership seems common amongst mantis shrimp because burrows are in high demand and stealing from each other is common practice. The aggressor has already received one good blow from the defending male. I can't believe he's coming back for more questionable if he will survive. With its sophisticated sensory organs, a leopard shark has picked up the ruckus that the fighting mantis shrimps have made. Crustaceans are his favorite meal and he feels like a snack. With a leopard shark in the area, this is the time for all mantis shrimp to close up their burrows and keep an eye on the scene. Leopard sharks are harmless to people and can grow up to 10 feet. With its flexible body and long bendable tail, it is considered to be the ideal reef predator, able to search for prey in between rocks and crevices. This mantis shrimp is lucky to get away. Mantis shrimp have so-called compound eyes, with thousands of individual lenses and three pupils in each eye. It gives them incredible depth perception. And they can see 10 times more colors than we can. No wonder their eyes are used as examples for military drones and satellites. Klaus wants to try another experiment, and this guy seems like a good candidate. He offers the mantis shrimp a fish, but the animal is not excited about it. Mantis shrimp prefer to feed on clams, snails, and other crustaceans.
Again, here comes Klaus with that pesky old fish carcass. And it is very clearly rejected again. In fact, the mantis shrimp tries to get it as far away from its burrow as possible. And this is why. The smell of the dead fish attracts several other fishes that would have destroyed the home of the mantis shrimp to get to the carcass. Just a short swim away, we find the spear with its distinctive elongated eyes and armed with spiny appendages with barbed tips. Mantis shrimp are considered to be aggressive and solitary. They spend most of their time hiding out in their burrows, building passageways that branch out into the seafloor. And just as our dive comes to an end, this smasher also wants to show off its impressive weapon. The crab is immediately stunned and immobile. Fairly little is known about these little champion fighters. It will probably be a long time and many more years of research until we fully understand some of the truly spectacular characteristics of the Smashers and the Spears. But I am already a big fan. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the other films as well. And remember, always keep your fins wet.